now that I got the machine cleaned off, I can tell you about everything we love and the one thing that made us say, what the heck, cat? My favorite thing is cruise control. So far, because I've been tearing down the house, which is like 20 minutes from where we're parking at, it takes, you know, if I had to sit there with my feet down, that would be lame. But now I can just hit the thing, hit the button, go. Super easy, and it works great. And I can just sit in the seat and not do anything for 20 minutes. So that's pretty cool. Stick steer is great. Everybody talks about it in all the next-gen excavators. It is awesome. I use it, I barely use the foot pedals. I've only got a couple hundred hours in excavators anyway, so I never really got used to really using my feet anyways. I would always reach down with my hands like an idiot. So now I just hit the button and I move it with the joystick. It's way better. And you definitely could take the feet things right out, which is, they said that some people do that. And you definitely could do that and it wouldn't be a problem because it's so easy just to hit the button. We really like the glass on this machine because it's completely all the way through the roll cage. Every place that there can be glass, there is glass. And I especially love the way that the front glass folds up and then goes up to the top. Because I know that's not in every manufacturer. And it's awesome if it's a nice day and you can put your feet out there and be way more comfortable. Because the cab's plenty big enough. It's not small at all. But it's really nice. Be able to put your feet out if you're just sitting there all day digging a trench. The 48 inch bucket we got, I'm really glad we got that. That works really good. It really works good for backfilling and it really loads the dump truck really quick. It only takes like five or six full scoops and the dump truck's completely loaded. It takes like 45 seconds to load the dump truck, which is pretty awesome. It's comfortable, the seat's comfortable for me. I don't have any problem fitting in there and I'm a pretty big guy. The, I really like the slidey thing at the top so I can close the sunroof or the other viewpoint for the top of the bucket if it's really sunny. You can open it if it's nice or whatever. It definitely has plenty of power for us. I've moved a really big rock and I was just finished tearing down that house and a couple ditches. Uh, but for our property, you know, pretty large estate, it's the perfect machine. If you wanted to tow it behind a truck, it'd still be good because it's not too heavy and it's still got plenty of power. I wouldn't go any smaller than this though. But I wouldn't really go bigger either because I really like the width of this machine so that I can fit between trees and go down the woods and the trails a lot easier than the 305 which is another foot wider. That's a lot wider. I'm going to correct myself and say that there are two things that we don't love because I come up with another thing while I was doing this video. Why is the screen not touch screen in 2022? I mean come on. The, the lever thing works really good I'm not gonna lie. It's just a little joystick and it twists and it gets you through the menu fine. Totally fine. But it should be a touch screen. I mean come on. I'm sure all excavators are like this, but the grease fittings on this thing are perfect. They're all placed exactly where you want them to be aiming, so you can walk around the machine one time, stick the thing on, a few pumps, and you're done. It only takes a couple minutes before you get started or whatever, and they're all super handy. Other than the touchscreen, the one thing that we really are annoyed by is why is there not a toolbox anywhere on this machine? There's a little spot in the one cubby for your grease gun but our machine doesn't have the quick coupler, so we have the wrench that you have to undo the thing, which is fine for us. We didn't need to change the buckets quick and it was an expensive option, so we didn't get that. But why is there not a place for that wrench? It came zip tied to the uh, you know, lever, and that was fine, 
but I'm not going to zip tie it there every time I use it. So why is there in a toolbox? Plus it would be handy to have a few tools for even not to necessarily work on the machine, but just to work on something that you're working on. You never know when you might want a screwdriver. So that's our one thing that I really wish this machine had. I've seen it in other machines that do have a little toolbox somewhere. You know, this one's pretty small. I understand that you can't have everything, but you could have had a toolbox somewhere, I feel like. So through 46.7 hours, we love it so far. Why wouldn't you love a brand new excavator? But it's perfect size, exactly what we needed. Uh, it's done everything we've asked of it so far, and I think it will in the future. I mean, I can see what it's capable of already. So can't wait to make more videos this summer as we build our other cabin and finish tearing down that house.